I'm Jason Tice. I own Tice Industries. I'm a military defense contractor. Uh, I engineered, manufactured, and developed a 3M Corporation, a bulletproof, bombproof fragmentation material that's 100% green. It's a liquid Kevlar, an HD product um, from 3M, reinforced with a K29 ballistic Kevlar for body armoring the Black Hawk helicopters, tanks, um, bulletproof vests, um, any kind of fragmentation or bulletproof material. Um, it has one into this. The capabilities are uh, roughly about, um, per kiloton, at 15 feet at 80 mils, it'll stop that and, and uh, diffuse that with a proper formulation. Um, this body right here has um, up to 100 to 600 percent elongation. Um, it's reinforced. It starts off at roughly on 80 mils and goes up to about 200 mils within the, the designed areas where it's been manufactured. Um, it does have quite a bit of elongation. Um, it does bend, fold, but it does have a memory. It will go back to its same shape. Um, it is shatterproof. It has uh, ripping characteristics of probably around 2,000 pounds per square inch with a dog bone test. Uh, lightweight. It is a lighter weight material than non-saturated fiberglass, but it does not compete at this time with carbon fiber. It does not have the rigidity of carbon fiber because it's flexible. Carbon fiber is not. Uh, fiberglass has rigidity, and this now has rigidity also. Um, towards the back of the vehicle, if you come around, the vehicle has um, strength points, reference points, that are solid, dense, but they still have flexibility. In case of a rollover crash, any kind of percussion, it holds there. The back tailgate spans roughly around four feet, and it is rigid too with nothing behind it. Um, it holds up its shape, and it holds up to being crash, rolled over, and um, maximized to its efficiency uh, any kind of blunt items that will hit it. Um, we have across the side over here where it's held down in a couple points, but it still spans to a, a good strong area where you can actually um, and it holds its shape. It will stress, it will make noises, but that is the release of the material taking care of the stresses that it's been designed and manufactured for. Um, once it is done and finished, it is, um, has the same characteristics of an automobile in every facet from the reveals to the way that it keeps its shape. It will hold all types of paint, including water base all the way up to epoxies, A and B parts, and um, other coatings. Um, this one here has been painted with a uh, two-part epoxy um, for its longevity, and then it will be wrapped with a, a, uh, a wrap of the design of the vehicle. Uh, this one is a bounty hunter uh, for Jimmy Creighton with Extreme Racing, to Extreme Racing. And um, the rest of the materials inside uh, have the same amount of elongation. Uh, we are using some S glass and some M glass and military um, grade uh, materials. Everything in here has went through 3M for engineering and understanding of what I'm doing with it. So um, as far as I know, they're very, very happy. Um, there's a gentleman I've been working with. His name's Hugh Hodgkins and Jackie Johnson with the boys at uh, 3M in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, they, uh, I couldn't have done it without them, but uh, they put a lot of thought in this with me. It's been uh, almost two years now with the, the engineering of this particular product in this, uh, in this actual uh, formulation. Um, I think we came a long way. Um, we're not there yet. We will be there shortly uh, with a finished product that will be manufactured um, in, in all aspects of all racing, from Baja to monster trucks to short course to uh, even the uh, rock crawling, rock climbing uh, vehicles and many others. Um, this material is 100% green. Um, 3M makes sure that um, we use a material that uh, holds up with the PDA specifications. Um, there's not much more to say about it except for we'll see it at the race. Um, in the past, let me give you a little bit of history about the, the race history. Um, this vehicle here, um, this body, black like it is now, uh, Nick Owens was driving it down in Texas and uh, went over a tabletop doing a wheelie, they shut him down and he actually went ahead and cart cartwheeled and somersaulted over and over, end over end, and the body still looked exactly the way it did when we manufactured and put it on the truck. But there was one small gash about four and a half to five inches wide on the front bumper and one tear 
in the roof where it just couldn't handle the stress. The vehicle was having to be completely overhauled underneath and almost uh, six feet of frame was replaced at that time. Uh, behind the engine all the way back, the hoop was destroyed, but the body still held up like it was brand new. Um, and it was pretty much trashed, even fell with Dennis Anderson with Gravedigger. Uh, was very amazed about it, and he is one of the first uh, recipients of the the actual hood and body of uh, the first formulation. And he actually went ahead, and I quote, the only thing that wins out here is the dirt. Uh, he came back to me a year later and said, son, he says, I, I eat crow. He says, you know what, we can rip your hood off, we can rip your body off, but we can't break it. That's a 3M product. Bill Strong.